For today's hunting boot camp, I'm gonna have my taxidermist buddy, one of my good friends, Mr. Tony White. He's gonna tell you how to properly store your animals, particularly ducks and geese, for taxidermy purposes. All right, so let me start off by saying, throw away all your pantyhose, throw away your Walmart bags, throw away your trash bags, throw away your socks that you put them in, anything. This is all you need. Um, the best way to do it is to obviously pick the best bird that's not all shot up and, and isn't all ruffled and messed up. Um, broken feathers can't be fixed, ruffled feathers can be fixed. Um, so if you shot the wing off of it, obviously, obviously that's not re repairable. But first thing to do is wrap a wet paper towel around both the feet and the bill. These are the first two areas to um, freeze or burn. Uh, so if you wrap a wet paper towel, not a dry one, a wet one, around the feet and around the bill just barely covering the face, that'll protect those most um, fragile tissues and you can keep it in the freezer for years that way. Um, and then the only other thing you need, some people like to wrap them in saran wrap just to kind of keep everything locked in. That's totally fine. Um, but really all you need is a freezer Ziploc bag. Make sure it says freezer um, and that'll keep the frost out. And try to, try to put it in a deep freeze if you can because refrigerator freezers defrost themselves all the time and that, that goes from 33 degrees to 32 degrees to 33 degrees and so that continuous thawing and, and refreezing is also bad for the birds. But if you do it just like this um, and then lay the lay the head of the bird on its back or on its chest because if that neck's sticking straight out and you drop it out of the freezer, it'll snap right off. Um, if you do it just like that, uh, it'll be good in the freezer for five, six, seven, eight years um, if you can't get it to your taxidermist right away. Uh, and that's about all.